Christianity and Islam pose different threats to the vitality of the modern world. Christianity's extremists, the fundamentalists, typically undermine education in the first world, and hence they retard its potential. Islam undermines the very essence of the first world constitutional democracy, the right to free speech. This is typically done by suggesting that anyone who criticizes Islam is committing an intolerant hate crime. Bollocks! If your faith is causing people to fly planes into buildings, then it needs to be scrutinized in a public forum. I mean, let me make the line simple. Disagreeing with someone is not a hate crime. I mean, I think it's typical of uh, Islamic schools and uh, the political Islamic movement to label any, any criticism a sort of prejudice and thereby racism, thereby trying to uh, make people uh, silence, uh, silent on criticizing it. Inciting someone to break the law because of your opinion is. For instance, suggesting that you think that those who leave Islam are jerks is not a hate crime. Suggesting that people who leave Islam should be killed is a hate crime. But what is the penalty for apostasy? What is the penalty for leaving the Muslim faith? If it's an Islamic country, then the Sharia is very clear. Apostasy, ap apostasy is dealt with the death penalty. Thank you. That's well, all well, I well, to hear. And yes, if that is a central tenet of your religion, then the very practice of your religion is a hate crime in a modern first world country. The virility of free speech is arguably a prime factor in determining both the health and worth of this forum, just as it is for determining the health of a first world constitutional democracy. I personally have a band of both vigorous and at times vicious critics, yet I understand that if I had the power to silence them, and I did silence them, that this would simply corrode the worth of this forum and the integrity of anything that I said on it. For an idea that can survive the harsh eye of public scrutiny of thousands is infinitely more valuable than an idea that can tolerate the criticism of none. Yes, YouTube is a company who will inevitably serve the bottom line. However, YouTube's value to society, its value to us, is connected to the service that it provides in allowing ideas, both good and bad, to be subjected to open scrutiny. Recently, both Zoh My God It's Chris and DPR Jones both had videos which, to be quite frank, had the most meek criticism of Islam taken down for community guidelines violations. Bullshit. If I no longer have the right to call these religiously motivated actions a hate crime, then what is the worth of this forum? Only a matter of time until we rule Earth, until we control Earth. Oh!